Uh, I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I've got an exciting tutorial. Basically, we're going to tackle, spoiler alert, the Thanos finger snap disintegration moment. Holy shit. A touching moment. Peter. Peter. <laughs> but, yes, that's what we're going to tackle today. Now, we're going to use After Effects for this uh, tutorial and we'll be using one plugin called Particular by Trapcode and that creates the particle effect that the effect that blows you away like dust. I did use the scatterize effect the first time around but I don't feel it's as powerful for kind of control like if you want to go off to a certain dis direction I couldn't figure out a way to do it easily anyway. Um, mainly had just like a warp and the whole effect just went poof. So let's get into it. Once After Effects is open, you'll want to make a new composition. You can do that by right clicking and selecting New Comp. Now, place your footage into the comp. I'm going to show you how to do this without a green screen, that way you'll learn how to do it the hard way, and if you have green screen footage, this will be much easier. You'll want to make sure that you use a tripod when you shoot your footage, and keep the camera rolling after you've left the frame, as you'll need the empty shot for the background. Now, find a point in your shot where you'd like to disappear. Split the layer by pressing the keys Command Shift D. Now right click that new layer, time and then freeze frame. Now let's mask this layer. I'm going to be a little sloppy for the sake of speed. Now let's duplicate this layer and pre-compose the top layer and call it dust and move it into a new composition. Once inside the comp, we want to pre-comp this layer again and now we're going to create a jagged mask that's going to act as a wipe. Now press M on the keyboard and click the stopwatch on mask path to create a keyframe. Move the mask path from the right, then move along the timeline and move the mask across your subject. Now. Go into the mask feather and bump it up to 75%. Come back into your original comp, that's the hard part complete. Now let's get into the fun part of the tutorial. I promise you this is where the fun begins. Create a new solid layer and then go to effects and search for particular by trap code. Apply this to your solid layer and open up the layer effects. Change particle second to 200,000. We want the emitter type to layer. Now, let's add some speed to the particles. We want a velocity of 100, a velocity random of 100, and a velocity distribution of 5. Layer emitter to dust layer. And then particle birth time. Now, Let's start playing with the particle. We want a life of three, a random five, the particle type can be cloudlet, and then we want a feather of five, the size 2.5, random 100, and change the opacity to the downward slope. This will gradually fade the particles away. Now, let's add some depth. So go to the shadows and then turn on shadow for main, and then change the opacity to six, and the distance to 135. Now let's play with the physics. Let's change the gravity to minus 1.5 and then open up the air and add a spin amplitude of 15. A spin frequency of 9.5. The wind is what will drive where the particles go. So on the Z axis we want a minus 50 and on the Y axis we want minus 75. Now we're going to use the x-axis to drive the particles off the screen. Minus x will go off the left side of the screen and plus x will go off to the right. Let's keyframe that at zero from the beginning of our dust effect and then in the middle change it to minus 200 and then at the end minus 500. 
Now let's open Turbulence Field and we're going to keyframe Effect Position from the beginning of our comp to the end. 0 to 100 should work real nicely, or real quick. Next, let's add some Motion Blur. We have one last thing to complete this effect. Go to the original masked image and pre-compose this layer and call it bottom subject. Now let's draw a rough mask around the subject. All we have to do now is match the wipe to the wipe we made in the dust composition. So keyframe it and pull the points across the subject And don't forget to feather the layer. We can do this to about 30. And there we have it, Thanos destroying my body. The dust simulation is not quite the same as the one in the movie, but it replicates the similar effect. And I'm sure you can use it in any project that's similar to Infinity War, I guess. So there we have it, a Thanos inspired Finger snap moment, blowing into the wind, to be erased forever, how emotional. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content from me, and also hit that like button, um, that really helped me out, I don't know, would it, I don't know, who cares. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the, appreciate the feedback, so if you want to comment anything down below, be sure to do that, and I'll see you in the next one. Battles Punch! Boom!